What's happening guys, Arthur HD here with a new FIFA 39 Ultimate Team video and today guys it's a second episode in the Poor Man's View series. Today's episode is based on Nani of Man United, he looks like an absolute beast. The f very few 5 star skills on this game and Nani is in the 5 star skill category. Look at his stats, 87 pace, 89 dribbling, 80 shot, 81 passing and uh, he's quite a hefty price tag, he's 50-60k on PS3. 50 to 60k on Xbox and 60 to 70k on PC. So I mean, Nani is a really good player, guys. Plays left wing, so yeah, probably best to use him in a 4-3-3, 4 3 2 1 5 2 2 1 3 4 2 1 etc. Uh, today's player that I think is the closest you're going to get to Nani, uh, basically the cheapest equivalent, is Usmane Asaidi, the Liverpool left winger who is also a five star skiller. You can see his stats on the screen. 88 pace, 84 dribbling, 69 shots, 67 passing, 43 defending and 40 heading. He only is about one to 3,000 coins on PS3, ranges information guys. On Xbox he's about one to 2,000 coins and on PC he is about one to 3,000 coins as well. But yeah, Asadi is a really good player as well guys. A lot's been said about him on this FIFA, how he's been a really good buy. A lot of people are calling him a golden bargain, stuff like that. So we'll move on to the gameplay guys and I will talk to you about Asaidi in a bit more depth. So now we're on to the gameplay guys and straight away you can see Asaidi just using his raw pace to get past Ivanovic. He is really quick guys. His skill moves are sm so smooth on this game. He gets in a tricky position, fake shots inside and finesses it into the bottom corner. He is quite a clinical finisher as well guys. But yeah, I was really pleased with Asaidi. I mean, for 1-3k to 3K for a 5-star skiller, you can't really complain. And his scoop ton is unbelievable. He's one of the smoothest skillers I have ever used on this game. I'm not really one of the biggest skillers, you know. I'm not that great at doing skill moves. But Asaidi was really good to use. I don't know how that's managed to squeeze his way in, but Joe Hart just palms that straight into the back of the net. But I mean, I used Asaidi in a Barkas Premier League team, and he was really good. Really, really good. I mean, he beats defenders for fun. He's got a wicked finesse shot on him, and he has got a very good power shot on him as well. But I think that his skill moves are really good. You will enjoy using them, guys. I mean, for 1-3k, to he's a bargain. See here, another scoop turn inside, and it's a good save by the keeper. But it's just showing, showing you how smooth the skill moves are. And here, you know, it took a bit of time to wriggle away from the defender, but he eventually does. He gets a brilliant strike into the top corner. Just showing again that he's got really good finishing. I mean, Nani is renowned for his finishing and his skill moves on this game. And I honestly think Asadi could give him a good run for his money. Again, another great finish into the roof of net from Usmani Asadi. And then the next goal, I think it is. I, th I think it's this goal. Moses picks it up. A lovely chip through ball. He springs it off side trap. And watch this for a finish. Just a scoop chip over the keeper. Bounces into the roof of net. That was a class goal from Asadi. And then, just to wrap it off, a nice fake Rabona twice, a nice little Ronaldo chop inside, and what a strike this is, smacks off the bar, couldn't believe it when that didn't go in. But that pretty much sums up the gameplay guys, Nani, as much as he's got brilliant stats, I mean, you're paying 50 to 60,000 coins for him, you can pick up a side for 1 to 2,000 coins, who is a great buy, I mean, people aren't calling him the golden bargain for no reason, he is a real bargain and a top quality player. So, again guys, I mean, in the last episode I said that if I had the money for both the players, I would have probably gone for a sidey, uh, sorry, for a sidey for Diaby. I mean, even in this episode, I would again say, what, what's the point in going shelling out 50 to 60,000 coins on Nani when you can find a player that's equally just as good for a lot cheaper, and then you can strengthen the rest of your team with the remaining coins. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up this episode, guys. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter. Adios.